My favorite chapter is Scylla and Charybdis, the ninth chapter, which is when Stephen's in the library, so it's technically the end of the first half of the novel. The passage that I like the best is when Stephen is explaining his Shakespeare theory. Again, um, the mystery involved in that, trying to figure out first, just on a basic plot level, exactly what Stephen's Shakespeare theory is and how complicated it can be, and then also thinking about what sort of implications there are for that to his own relationship to his mother and his relationship to Bloom and what sort of thematic register that's working on. And I think the reason I like the passage best is that it really shows Stephen at the height of his powers. Um, Stephen really gets denigrated a lot in the book and he's very much uh, depressed is, is a really fair word to how he feels at the beginning of the book having had to return to Ireland after his attempt at exile and to have his mother die as soon as he arrives and to be feeling like a failure in his poetic endeavors and to have him at the National Library among a group of older scholars who are very impressed by his intellect and the promise that he provides but also very skeptical of him as a thinker because he's so unorthodox um, to have him put on the sort of performance that he does in that scene is really special for me because it shows at least a glimmer of what Stephen Dedalus is and what he can become and the promise, the further promise that he has as a thinker and as a poet. Um, where so much of the novel we see him uh, tired, depressed, drunk, <laughs> right? In that one moment, even though his internal monologue is so doubtful and he is always telling himself to go to curry up or to remember to say something or to f being upset with himself that he forgot to put something in to see him demonstrate this knowledge of Shakespeare's plays and the English and Irish elements involved in the interpretations of Shakespeare which are really important from a political perspective is really cool I think so I like that passage a lot um, and especially at the very end, my favorite line in that is, uh, it's either the last or next to last, or the third to last, it's in the last, on the last page of number nine, uh, cease to strive, he tells himself. Cease to strive. Um, to try and rest a little bit, <laughs> or maybe relax just a tiny bit, and not be quite so worried.